having high cholesterol throughout your life can increase your risk for heart disease and brain diseases like stroke and dementia. But sadly, over 40% of people in the United States who have high cholesterol don't even know it and they're not getting any treatment for it. You can lower your cholesterol with a healthy diet, lowering your saturated fat intake and by exercising. And for those who have a strong genetic risk and no matter what they do, their LDL won't come down, cholesterol lowering medication like statins can be life-saving. Now there's this massive misunderstanding about statins on social media that they can cause brain damage, especially in elders, but there's really no convincing evidence that supports that when you look at the totality of the data. In fact, there's dozens of study reports from multiple lines of research conducted by experts who don't have any conflict of interest in the subject that clearly show that long-term statin use actually lowers the risk of both Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia, like this study that was published last month. The investigators wanted to see if starting statin medication affected the risk of Alzheimer's disease and cognitive decline. They studied about 4,800 people from the Chicago Health and Aging Project. About 31% of the participants started taking statins during the study, and the results showed that starting statins was linked to a lower risk of Alzheimer's disease and slower cognitive decline compared to those who didn't, especially for those who had the ApoE4 gene. Now these findings and plenty of other reports leading to a consensus among neurologists and neuroscientists state statins can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia. So don't hesitate to take medication if you have to because living with high LDL should be way more concerning than the decision to take medication for it.